just can't deal with this right now. <laughs> hey, babe, what are you doing? Um, nothing much. Um, I kind of want to see you. You know I want you to come over. You think you can come in about an hour? About an hour? Yeah. Yeah, I got you, too. All right, well, I'll see you in about an hour. All right. You're like the wind. Small thing you're dealing with there. Yes, I know. But we came here to have fun, and that's what I plan to do. I'm just letting you know I'm here. I know, I know, but we're gonna have fun. Ooh. Ooh, that ain't going early. Way too 
trying to be knocking the room down. Hey, Casey. Hey, girl. It's me. What do I have this pleasure? It's early. What's up? Uh -huh. I'm glad I did come back here early enough to knock some sense into you. Please don't tell me you got Marcus over here trying to make yourself feel better. Do you even like him? Oh. Yes, I do like him. It just also happens that makes me feel good too, girl. Oh, you nasty. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, but for real. But seriously, now you know you cannot be around here drowning yourself in men and sex just to make yourself feel better. I hear you, girl. I hear you, but it's you not. Know, it just, it is what it is at this point. It just helps. It does not help you at all, Casey. And I've been trying to give you advice, but you don't ever listen to me. But anyway, I just came by here to get my shoes because I have to go in later on. And you got my work shoes over here. So. Okay. But look, Boom. I'm gonna let you know, you know, I always love and appreciate mm -hmm. you every time you give mm -hmm. me some good advice. But you better think about, a, think about what I said. I am gonna think about you it, cannot, I promise. You cannot use sex to make yourself feel better and try to heal your pain. Okay. Only Jesus can do that. We know that. The Lord, yes, we God. Uh-huh. Jesus you loves you. I love you. I'll talk to I you I love later. you too. Bye, girl. Bye. She go right there. Finally. Oh. I can, is she with another dude? each other since we were five years old and I am seeing you changing I'm worried about you I am fine no really. you're not no you're not fine you haven't even talked about your mom's passing and you know you can come to me about anything look Tish it's just really hard I just miss her every day I just don't know how to deal with the pain yes I know I may look like a hoe, but the sex is helping me deal with the pain. Now, what you're doing is you're trying to put a Band-Aid over a wound that needs stitching. You are trying to use these men and sex to help you get the healing that you're seeking. And you know it's only one person that can do that for you, and that's God. <sighs> look. I think my pastor is still at the church. And I know, I know, I know you don't like to pray and you have this hesitation about going to church, but I really do think that Pastor T can help you on this journey. Wanna go? Girl, I need some type of help. Let's go. Right. So you feeling better, huh? Yes, I prayed about it, talked to God about it, and the sermon really helped clear up a lot of things for me. Well, well, listen, just remember to always give it to God. Now, we're not asking or suggesting that you bury your pain, but what we are saying is that you must allow Jesus to do his job in healing you. Yeah, yeah 
Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Mm, God. <laughs> well, I am just glad you are finally listening to somebody. Thanks, girl. All right. Let's pray.